All right, I want to spend a little bit of time today talking about the second fundamental theorem of calculus here. And some questions in the way you're going to see them should be clues to what to do. This is one of those ones that students either see it and get it or they're like, what in the world is going on? So let's make sure that you're the first case of that. So consider the graph of f of x shown, which consists of four straight line segments. So hopefully you can see those line segments. Here's one of them right here, isn't it? Uh, the other one is the green one here. And hopefully you can see this one also, and that would be this one right here. So we have one, two, three, four segments. All right? And we're asked to provide this. So here's some more data that they give us. They tell us, tell us that h of x is equal to the definite integral from 1 to x of f of t dt. This should be some clue here that we're doing, dealing with second ftc. All right? So I'm going to do this, and it says here, it asks us here to find h of 2, h of 2. So remember that to find h of 2, what they're saying is that h of 2, I'm just filling in the blanks here, filling this in, h of 2 is equal to the definite integral 1 to not x, but 2 of f of t dt. So this is what we're going to start with. And this is where we're going to go from there. So let's take a quick look at this and see how that, how that works out. So here's another copy of the graph that we were just looking at. And we want to go from 1 to 2. So this is 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So it's from here to here, right? So that's what we're looking for, that integral here, all right? So here we go. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to say to my reader, this is, I'm going, to prom I'm going to give you what I promised you, which is the definite integral from 1 to 2 of f of t dt. I'm going to take some, some stuff that I know, and I know that the whole thing falls on, thank gosh, this interval right here. And we have two points there. We know these are lines. So we have the point 0, 2, and we have the point 2, 3. From here, we can find the equation of the line. This function, this derivative function, is linear. So find equation, right? So find the equation of the derivative. And the equation of the derivative, if you plug all this stuff in, I get 3 minus 2 over 2 minus 0 is 1 half. And that from algebra 1 is our slope. So there's our slope. From here, I'm going to use point-slope theorem. And you don't have to tell your reader that you're using point-slope theorem, but you do need to use it, I would say. It sure, certainly wouldn't help. So I'm going to do y minus, and I'm going to choose this point, you guys. And the reason I'm going to choose this is because it's simpler for me. And you can, but you, either way, it would work out the exact same answer. So 1 half x minus 0. I'm not going to mess around with showing too much of this algebra because it's, it's assumed that you know how to do it. Um, so y is equal to 1 half x plus 2. All right, so I'm going to go from there. So from here, I'm going to integrate, and then I'm going to evaluate. So I'm going to integrate and evaluate. And when I evaluate, remember, we're going to use the first, the first fundamental theorem of calculus here, aren't we? So it would look like this, I believe, that if I integrate this thing right here, I'm going to get 1 half x squared over 2. It's going to be the integration of the first part, isn't it? Plus the integration of the second part, and that's 2. The first integral of 2 is 2x, isn't it? As evaluated from 1 to 2, right? Multiply these two things together, and we get x squared over 4 plus 2x from 1 to 2. First fundamental theorem of calculus here says that we're going to do, remember, first fundamental theorem says that f of b, which is 2, minus f of a, which happens to be 1 in this case. And when you do all of this, it's going to, mine came out looking like this. It came out as 4 fourths plus 16 fourths minus 1 fourth plus 8 fourths for a total of 11 fourths, which is equal to 2.75, so h of 2, and that's what I did, all right? So 
to do the next part is a little bit more challenging. You know what? Let me have a second. I'll save this one, and then we'll go to the second part and so forth. I hope this is helpful. I can't imagine you not seeing something like this on the exam. So hopefully you're taking good notes, and hopefully you're finding lots of problems to practice on. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. You almost deleted my video.